What are you guys talking about? Oh, I was just asking Tommy how he bids a job and ensures the homeowner has some realistic expectations on yeah. a job. Yeah. Good information for you. Good information for the homeowners too, though, right? I mean, yeah. listen, there's a lot of anxiety on homeowners' parts yeah, when they're really, hiring a contract. Exactly. I mean, and it doesn't matter how big or small the job is. The homeowner should do the research, whether or not they're picking out a door or whether or not they're adding an addition or building a house. So how do you do the research? I mean, are you talking about surfing the web? Are you making phone calls? Are you asking you neighbors? You talk to architects. You talk to friends that have had work done. Mm -hmm. I mean, the web gives you all kinds of great information for ideas. Some of the smaller jobs, you can go to the home center, walk around the aisles. You can, you can see how easy it is for the materials to add up on a job. Yeah, just get a sense of what things cost. Mm -hmm. So let's think about a door that a homeowner wants to change, an exterior door. They want to make a three foot, make it a six foot, or an eight or a ten, whatever. You've got to think about what's that opening going to carry, that beam up, up top. It's got to be sized right to carry that load. Then you got to make sure that the, when you're putting that door in, the opening is flashed correctly from the bottom up. Because if that door or window leaks, the homeowner is first going to blame the, uh, the window manufacturer or the door manufacturer. But if the builder eliminates flashing and does it wrong because of maybe the price is too low, it's usually the inst installer's fault. Then there's all the stuff behind the scenes from there. Show up, measure the door, go place the order for the door, right. pick it up. So there's a lot of cost acquired before I even cut into it. Thousand dollar job and hey Richard. Sounds like I'm missing a good conversation. Yeah. yeah. This has got to be a problem for you all the time, right? right? You know, an established company in, in my trade, it's also an overhead issue. You know, you got how do you get licensed guys that you insure them, you got the trucks, you got to have inventory on, you got to get them to training, everything's getting so technical. That has to be paid for somehow. That's a good point, you right? Know. So if a guy's off at a conference yeah. being trained, he's sure. not in a house yeah, it doesn't money. To it. Right. He used to run a tape, you know, and, and I'd be surprised at the cost, and the, and the homeowners would say, you know, why is it so much? And I'd say, you know, it's really what it's going to take for us to put the right people on your project. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's unbelievable. Really. Well, I mean, it's crazy. You can get estimates that are all over the place. You can get an estimate that's really low. You can get one that maybe is acceptable, and you got one that's really high. Well, maybe the guy that's really high really doesn't need or want the job, but if right. he gets it, okay. Right. But there's a couple of guys in the middle. They're pricing it the way they should. But you got to make sure the guy with the low bid. What's the deal with the low bid? I mean, it's out there, right? So the guy's going to do it for that number. What's I not in a low bid? A lot. People think they can take the lowest bid, and it's going to have all the same stuff in it that you guys would have in there. And it just can't be. There's just there's an economic law there that says it can't. And many times, the low bid guy gets there, and then they're going to do it with change orders. And you have all these change orders that you end up paying just as much as you would have with the mm -hmm. high or the middle bid. So I used to say, I'd rather see you as a homeowner wince in pain once because it was more than you expected to pay, but then thank me every single spring, summer, fall, and winter when it was perfect temperature in the building that's, or the plumbing worked right. Yeah, that's so true. More than likely, that low bid is going to end up in the long run costing you more money with problems that you have with that window or getting it replaced later. Hey, Mark. Buyer beware. Mark, you must have some war stories about this whole conversation. So, I, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but uh, <laughs> it's a great conversation. And from my end, people don't consider weather. Yeah. Uh, I should say they consider it, but they don't consider it enough. If I lose a day to rain, that sets me back a day. Now I have to, sometimes I go inside to keep the guys busy. So now when I get back outside, yeah. they don't realize that one one day could turn into two, two could turn right. into three. Right. Yeah. Yeah, rain, you know, rain's a big deal. Think about rain if you're doing a slab or you're trying to do a brick wall. Yep. You, can, you can't. Well, well, the phrase is we can't play in the rain. Yeah. No, so can. We, can, we can use tarps, but sometimes that's not going to help. So right. if we lose a day, we right. lose a day. And the real detriment to the job is is when I lose a day, if I don't have the steps in the walkway in, that's going to hold up the landscaper. Sure. Which everybody else gets pushed they, back. Everybody yeah. gets pushed yeah. back. It's mm -hmm. so true. Working in the winter is a big deal. We got to we got to have heat in certain right. situations. Yeah. You can't dry the plaster in a cold building. That's right. You and can't paint the yeah. walls. Yeah, people don't realize that it's too hot right. on certain days. The mortar doesn't set up the way it's supposed to, so yeah. you got to cancel the day. And the other thing, Tom, as you know, is material. I mean, depending on what people order. Trucking is a bear right now, so anytime people have to get something trucked to them, yeah. the delays are really out of your control. That's another thing they should Watch understand. Watch out for change orders. Oh, yeah. Man. CO's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, the three, there's four most expensive words in construction while you're at it. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh. then, and then when they or, order something on a change order, then you've got to worry about lead times. You know, plumbing fixtures now are coming from all over the planet, yeah. and you've got to chase them yeah. down, and now all of a sudden you can't I've always, I always tell the homeowners, have a backup. If you pick a tile that you really like and it's custom, get another one ready in yeah. case you can't get that dial. Right. So it's good for homeowners to ask questions and do their homework. All right, good information for the homeowners. Maybe it demystifies the process so. just a little bit. Hope so.
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.